Hello, Lothazar here, and we're playing Zelda, Legend of Zelda. Now, since last time, I did a little, little bit of um, farming just to collect more bombs, and I bought another potion. Um, if you have a blue potion and you buy another blue potion, it turns into a red potion, because the red is just two charges. So I just killed enemies until I had them all. I um, still don't have the big shield. Still don't have that second bomb upgrade, so my maximum is 12 instead of 16. But 12 should be more than enough for level 8. So let's head there. It's quite hidden, in fact. And that will be our last Triforce piece. Now the items in level 8, uh, there's two of them. Okay. Um, one of them is the magic book. It's a passive item that makes um, this magic wand create a ball of fire when it hits something. Which is moderately useful, I guess. It's not bad. I probably won't be getting it, though. Or if I do get it, I'll have to make two runs into the level. Just, I don't know, the level is pretty big and deadly, so I'd recommend um, you make, make one run in, get all the items, come back out, heal up, whatever, make a second run for the boss. Well, well, the second item is the Master Key, which gives you infinite keys. Um, I still have nine, so I don't think I even need that, really. So, for now, I'm just gonna skip both the items, uh, bum rush the boss, get the Triforce piece, and move on. So, I'm not really doing a 100% run or anything, I've missed tons of stuff already, so... There's lots of secrets I didn't get, as well, like, there's hidden shops, not all of them or anything special. There's lots of hidden gambling shops, there's people that pretend to give you money but they take away money, there's all sorts of stuff that I missed. So, not a big deal. Okay, I think from here it's just one screen down. Yes, there it is. This is the screen that has level 8 on it. Can you see it? Who sees it? Probably only if you played this game before, although it is kind of obvious, like this one's tree does kind of stand out. Although with one candle, with red candle of course, you can go around burning everything in your path until you find something. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's let's go. Level 9. See if I can remember my way around. Uh, to the left is that magic book I talked about. A couple screens over. So I'm gonna skip that. This seems like a dead end. But, you don't even have to fight this guy. Ooh, close one. Okay, time to fight some blue knights. I, I, I don't remember their official names, I know they have them. Feel free to correct me, I don't really care either way. Another room with a big shield would come in handy. Because I seem not to be doing very good. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to leave the room there. But luckily, nothing responds. So, got a bonus key there. We don't really need it. Let's see. And dodge everything in here. I forget what happens if you kill, clear that room. Either bombs or a key spawns or something. Okay, now we have to kill all these guys as well. You can bomb them to the north, and that'll lead to the master key eventually. If you go north and then to the right. I like using bombs on these guys, it's... I don't know. It seems safer than stabbing them. Well, it's not too hard to stab them either. Ah, oh, I got lucky. Fairy for the win. There we go. Ah. Gotta watch those guys when they're... They always turn around on you. They're quite smarter than the red ones. Not too challenging. Oops, I meant to... Good. No, we want the bombs, never mind. Okay. Skip this room as well. There's nothing I really need here. And this will lead us to the boss. Not the deadliest boss, he is pretty deadly. Uh, these things are annoying. They take a lot of hits and they don't rebound off your swords. They so your sword, they just keep walking. So just run away. 
Um, you can also go through by bombing to the left here, to, if you want to go the long way. Um, I think the bombs are the only other weapon that hurts this guy. I don't think the handle does. That's okay. Uh, maybe I should have got the big shield for this. I'll be okay. And lot the shield leaders haven't been appearing lately. I think they only appear in levels like 5 and 6. Were they in 7? I don't remember, but... They're kind of gone for now. They'll, they'll be back, probably in level 9, I don't remember. So... Less talking, more stabbing. Less getting hit. Screw it. <laughs> Just run in. Yeah, all those hearts make it a little bit easier. So does the blue ring. Um, there we go. We're doing okay. And that's level 8. You know what? I'm just gonna not get the treasure. Because who cares? I'm not gonna use it. The magic wand is useful in stuff like swordless runs, for sure. Um, well, it's kind of useless and useful anyway. But I don't really care. So, I don't know. I guess if you were, you were doing a swordless run, you'd get the bomb and the candles first. Then try to get the uh, blue ring and the wand and the book right away. So, I'd recommend a shield for that as well. Um, now what I'm doing, I'm just going to the entrance of level 9. It's also slightly hidden. Ooh. Down to two bombs. I'll we'll probably have to farm some more before the end. Now, am I going the right way, or did I go up too early? No, this is good. Oh, on this screen is one of those places that pretends to give you money, but they take away 20 if you bomb one of the areas. Now the second quest, of course, everything's in a different place, and some secrets are, are introduced and some are removed, but why did I even fight those? I could have just ran by and taken less damage. Now, level 8, this should be right here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. I don't know if there's any hints in the game that tell you that. There might be a hint in the, uh, like there's an old man or two in world 8. Let's see if I can get some more bombs or hearts off these guys. You definitely want full bombs for level 9. If not just for weapons, just for bombing walls. There's a bunch we have to do. We have to get through. So, here we go. Let's see, how, is the music any different? Yes, it is, for sure. So we have the Triforce now, which means if you come here earlier in the game, there's a guy here that blocks your entrance, and he says you can't proceed unless you complete the Triforce or something like that. But of course, we have it, so we're good to go. All the other levels you can do in any order you want, but level 9 you can't enter until the end. Which is kind of good, because the red rings in here, which reduces to a quarter damage, is basically the rings or the armor of this game. And what other item is in here? Let me just, just double check. I don't remember. Something good, probably. Anyway, level 9, I'll leave for next time. I'll fill my health and refill my bombs before then. I might get the big shield, I might not. I'm undecided. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time, where I'm gonna beat the game. At least, that's the plan. Okay, I lied, it's not over yet. Back in level 8, with some, some off-screen playing magic. I do actually want to get the, um, the magic book to power up my magic wand. I think it'll be more useful than, I, than I'm expecting it to be. Um, you can already see I played a bunch off screen. I bought the big shield, I got more bombs, I got more money. Um, you will need some money for level 9 because money counts as arrows, right? Money is your ammo.
keep shooting money at them. So I just, I'm just trying to get this as fast as possible, as you can see, because not much time left in the video, is there? I like how it automatically goes to your boomerang when you run out of bombs. There we go. There's a magic book right near the entrance, which is kind of nice. Awesome. Okay, so now the video is over, and now I'll meet you in level 9 with lots and lots of bombs. 